I'm excited. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so excited. It's been days at this point, and I'm still wildly excited. I won a cosplay contest, but not in a super traditional way. I was at Con Nuga last weekend. It was a super duper wonderful time. I'm making a whole separate video about that, but I want to talk about a really cool thing that happened while I was there. Me and a friend were walking around after I'd just eaten the best smothered burrito of my entire life, and I happened to notice the cosplay contest contest on the schedule. Now, I almost never enter cosplay contests. It's just something I don't do. A combination of lacking in time and confidence really has limited myself in that department. But ever since I started cosplaying TV heads, the response at conventions has been so, so wonderful. This time around, when I saw it, I said, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna enter this cosplay contest. Now is the time, the beginning. So there founded me and my friend's realization that we were in the wrong building for prejudging, and prejudging began in 10 minutes. So, in our panic jog to get to prejudging, my TV head knocking me absolutely senseless. I came to the realization of something super duper important. I was nervous beyond belief, dude. <laughs> there was no way I was gonna win this thing. It wasn't a defeatist mentality, it was more of just a fact. I knew the convention environment and I knew the cosplayers I was up against. It just wasn't happening, but I really didn't mind. I was standing there in line, surrounded by people who had the same passion for cosplay as I did. I was more than content just to be there joking around with the furries and talking about movies with a Star-Lord cosplayer. And yet, despite these good vibes, the close the closer and closer I got to actually entering the judging door, the more horribly nervous I actually got. I think it's just who I am. I get nervous ordering fast food, dude. If I stutter when I'm ordering my 10-piece McNuggets, I'm thinking about that for like a week after. Then, before my nervous baby brain knows it, I'm at the front of the line, the volunteer is ushering me inside, and like a dude who doesn't know any better, I happily obliged. Inside, I'm happily greeted by three of the nicest judges I've ever met. Seriously. Seriously, I wish I would have gotten their names. They were so, so inviting and so, so wonderful, but it did little to help my nervousness because I suck. <laughs> I danced around a little. I did the thing with a little screen speaker that I have. It was really, really fun, despite my idiot anxiety brain. And after a little, I took the TV head off to show them how I made it. Which, by the way, I have a video on. I'm not sure which corner it'll be in. Pick one. And it was at this point they started asking me questions. <laughs> and the first question was, what is your favorite part about your cosplay? And I paused for a quick second because I know why I love TV head cosplays, but I didn't know if it was too sappy for the cosplay contest. But then I thought, no, absolutely not. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this, dude. This is my first cosplay contest and I need to let the judges know why I do this, why I endure all the painstaking hours at a convention, why I endure the airless atmosphere that's made inside the TV head, why I spend hundreds of dollars to go to these conventions, dude. Oh, that one hurts. Verbatim, my response was, I love the chance to be something else. And that's the truth. I genuinely love the chance I get to become Controller Kid, to become something greater than Jade. It's emotional, it's soft, and I honestly regretted saying it immediately. <laughs> and I started to regret it even more when I realized they'd all fallen completely silent. And then to top it off, they didn't ask me a single other question. <laughs> my heart literally dropped to my stomach. I thought I'd absolutely blown it. I was just too real, dude. The harsh browns that I was serving did not come with enough emotional ketchup. But what could I do? I had said it, that was it. These lips of sin had already uttered the words. So soon after I left the judging room, I put it to the back of my mind, drank a peach ramune, and waited around for the actual ceremony to take place. But not too soon after, me and my friend found ourselves running back to the place where the ceremony was actually happening, and if you think I'm gonna get better at managing my time, you are so incorrect, how dare you? And it was so Soon after that, that I separated from my friend to go and sit in the green room and wait for the ceremony to actually begin. And so I sat, 
playing Beat Planet on my phone because nobody wanted to talk to me. <laughs> By the way, one of the furry entrants had a squeaker in their mouth that they could just blow whenever. So essentially everything they said came out through squeaks, which was the best thing in the world. And I need every single furry to do that from now on legitimately. But before I could continue to enjoy the squeaking, we were ushered to the door to wait to come on stage to introduce ourselves and talk about our cosplay a little bit. The crowd was so, so lovely. Everyone was cheered for. It honestly made the whole thing significantly better to actually deal with, especially with my level of anxiety that was constantly rising throughout the whole shuffle up to the actual stage. And when I finally got to the mic to say my name, because it's me and the universe is just doing this to me, there was feedback. And I wanted to throw up. But I didn't, surprisingly. I ran across, did my little bow, did a little dance, and went off as quickly as I could, and it turned out okay. And so I went to the back to wait for the award ceremony. And they went by just as I expected. Everybody who won truly, genuinely deserved it. When I said earlier that there were some amazing cosplayers, I really meant it. I fortunately didn't get to film any of it because I was doing cosplay. And to try and do a TV ad cosplay and keep a camera working is almost impossible. But I promise you, they were fantastic. The furries with the squeaker won best original creation, well deserved and wonderful. I would have chosen the same thing. And I didn't win, which once again, I expected. It didn't feel amazing, but hey, I was just glad that I had the experience. It was still wonderful overall, and I was so happy for everyone that actually did win. And I was already getting up to leave, but suddenly the announcer, she's telling everyone to sit back down. And she's talking about a final unannounced category. She's saying one of the contestants answered one of our questions in such a way that made us stop and think. It was around this time that I just crumbled into a million bits because that's just where my emotional state was at this point. I am frozen in this weird halfway sitting, halfway standing position and suddenly I hear her talk again. Controller kid, get on up here, dude. <laughs> That's me. I'm controller kid. I'm the weird TV head dude. She's saying my name. I won a category of the cosplay contest. The first time I ever entered one, I won, I, I, I did. Needless to say, I ran up on the stage. I was already about to cry, but what the MC said next really pushed me over the edge. Almost word for word, she said, controller kid's response capture the most important part about cosplay, the chance to play a part of something bigger than ourselves. And isn't that what cosplay is all about? And people clapped and I almost fell off the stage and I ran over to my friend and I took the TV head off and I collapsed into her lap and I just bawled. I just, I just lost it in that moment. I, it was just, just, tears. That's just all it was. I was just so overwhelmingly happy and I wasn't even sure if it was because I had won. What made me truly happy in that moment was that I just felt validated that my reasons, my inspiration for cosplaying Controller Kid, all the prop building, all the character creation I had poured over, in that moment it meant something to everyone in that auditorium. It was just incredibly validating. It really reminded me why I go to the trouble to go to all these conventions. To be surrounded by like-minded people who I know respect creativity and the beauty it brings into the world. And I hope I never stop getting to go. I really hope I'm always able to hang out with all these people who truly love me for who I am. Even if to them, I'm just a TV head. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, I won $50 but didn't have time to spend it, so I gave it to some random Spider-Man cosplayer. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I hope it resonated with you in some way. Do you have a really cool cosplay contest story? Let me know in the comments down below. And above all else, be safe, make good choices, have a wonderful day, and peace out.